All right, I want to take a few minutes here to expose this lying devil right here, this Dave Ramsey guy, um, friend of the world. He's got uh, 2.43 million subscribers. What is highly esteemed among men is abomination in the sight of God. Friend of the world is the enemy of God. Always remember that. He's a new version using professing Christian financial expert. Yeah, right. Proves in this video that he is no expert at all. Um, just unreal what he says, and I'm going to prove him wrong here. Not very hard to do. Uh, a lot of these guys that get so wealthy and everything else because they're a little scheming and things, they lose touch with reality. And that's what this guy has done. He is what the Bible calls a false prophet. Every Christian has the ability to prophesy the future if you believe the Bible, King James Bible, and you, you know, you understand it and you can say, okay, this is what the Bible said is going to happen. Things get worse in the end times. We are in the end times. Um, that's just plain. I mean, and just even, you don't even need the Bible to say that. You can just look at things and just look at the way that the, you know, wages are not going up. The economy is falling apart. Um, food shortages coming, famine coming, you know, all, I mean, there's so much stuff. You know, war in Russia with Russia and Ukraine, Russia saying they, you know, might attack the West. You know, if, if there's any American bombs, you know, that hit in Russia, there will be a counterattack. China getting ready to invade Taiwan. I mean, yeah, just go on and on and on. It's going to get worse. Okay, a false prophet comes out and says, no, actually things get better. Read the book of Jeremiah if you don't believe me. Um, the false prophets in, in the past with ancient Israel, they were continually telling people, oh, it's getting better. Everything's getting better. There's no recession. There's no depression. <laughs> That's what they would say today. And that's what this liar uh, says here. Listen to what he says about the housing market. I just I could not believe he said this. Just flat out lies to people. Here we go. If you're waiting on prices to come down, you're not going to buy a house ever. Prices are not coming down. <laughs> if you're waiting for prices to come down, they're not coming down. No, no, they'll never come down. Never. No, no. But it gets worse. They are going to slow the rate at which they are increasing though that's what George is referring to where the market cools off right now um, uh, asking price means suggest you start bidding here and uh, we want to get out of that kind of thing and you're probably gonna see okay just even making that, that kind of a statement the the asking prices is, is this the price that you start bidding here in every market it's not even accurate you know, every single market that's out there, you just, across the board, everything's going up. Stupid. See that. We've seen interest rates tick up. The market has slowed down. We seem to be moving into our second quarter of contraction in the economy. This is known as a recession. And um, the Biden administration seems bound and determined to create one. So it looks like we're going to be there. And uh, that, that. But uh, there's a recession coming, but the price of houses just keeps going up. It's cooling off, so it's just kind of going to go sideways, but keep going up a little. That's where, I mean, politics aside, it's just observation. And uh, the so I think you're probably going to see calming down. But we've never seen house prices go down in the modern America, like since the 1930s, except one time. And that was for about six or eight months in 2008. <laughs> this guy's a moron. I mean, it, I, I'm sorry. He's not a moron. He's a very forked tongue, slick devil. He's not this stupid. Okay? We, we have never seen house prices go down since the 1930s in modern America, except for about six months in 2008. Really? Okay, well, here we have right here the, uh, this is Los Angeles Case Schiller Home Price Index. Here you have housing bubble number one, housing bubble number two, soon to be crashing. But right there, here's 2008 coming up, and it goes off the cliff. Down here hits 2009, just barely doing anything the whole way to 2012. I think that's longer than six months. You know, correct me if I'm wrong. But then it starts to climb back up again. Uh, 2009 to 2012, uh, I haven't seen it. I, I, I'm not really. You know, the housing prices really haven't gone down, and whatever else. I mean, I mean, you can just see it. Uh, different 
There's ones in the UK. Okay, that wouldn't be accurate for America. But, um, you know, again, going down right in there, 2000. Uh, it's not a very good chart there, but 2008 goes down. Just barely coming back up and then starts to go back up again. Lasted for years. And, you know, and knucklehead here. He can't uh he can't see the writing on the wall with all wall with all of the uh you know things are going on right now. Just keep printing money and everything's going to be fine. There will never be hyperinflation. You know, steak is not, you know, steak being you know forty, fifty dollars for a steak in the grocery store, it's not a not a problem. Gas up, you know, now over five dollars a gallon in most areas, some places six, seven dollars a gallon. It's fine, fine. House prices are just going to keep going up. People being laid off like crazy, you know, supply chain breakdown, everything else. No, sir. Prices are going to keep going up. We're seeing prosperity. This is a satanic false prophet. I'll show you another big thing about this guy in a minute, but enough of that. This channel right here, which I've recommended, Reventure Consulting. Not saying I agree with every single thing he says, but He's been documenting this. Here, home price is dropping fast on Zillow, showing this estimate, and places are going for, you know, they have them listed for sale for below this estimate, and showing a lot of the thing of um, builders abandoning things. I mean, he shows this, this, the actual statistics, not just some, you know, not just sitting there, uh, well, that's the way it is. I'm an expert here. You know, I have two plus million subscribers, you know, yeah. But if you really want to see a shocker with this Dave Ramsey guy, this lying devil, you can watch this video here by uh, Brother Jacob over here on his channel. Denies the mark of the base. He says it's ridiculous. It's nonsense. And anybody believes there's a implantable microchips on it. You know, it's just crazy. So, uh... Just a real quick little warning video here about this lying false prophet right here. Um, if somebody uses a new version, don't trust them for one second. Okay, the King James Bible is God's perfect word in English. Again, I've covered it. I'm getting a lot of people in the comments. It's a terrible corruption. Oh, what about the Acts, you know, 12 4, Easter versus Passover? Okay, I'll be coming out with a more detailed video. But the, the King James translators were brilliant scholars and there were 54 of them 47 until the whole thing was done it took them seven years okay they knew what the word pasca meant pasca can be translated as passover or it can be translated as easter the greek orthodox people call their easter celebration pasca you have to look at the context in which the word appears acts chapter 12 verse 4 is about herod going to del deliver peter after pasca the greek word How's it best translated, Passover or Easter? Herod was a pagan. Would he be celebrating Passover or Easter? Easter. But it also goes into the thing of then were the days of unleavened bread. That comes after Passover. So it couldn't be the days of unleavened bread, and he's going to do it after Passover. He'd have to wait a whole year. There's so many different things there, but I'll do a study on that eventually. But I'm seeing this thing of people denying the King James Bible. Um, if you deny the King James Bible, you're not saved. Plain and simple. Um, that's just the way it is. And I'll be bringing out a really hardcore study on that eventually, too. Uh, but the King James Bible, it, it's not an option. If you're born again, you need to be reading the King James Bible and believing the King James Bible. And this guy here, I think he'll probably quote it sometimes and whatever, but I've seen him quote new versions. And I've, I don't watch a lot of this stuff because... Be just cocky, pompous, you know, jerk, basically. But just seeing that, uh, no, housing market's not going down. Oh, total false profit. So um, it's a very easy test. If somebody uses a new version, you don't even have to waste any time with them. Just, no, they're done. So that is going to be it. Thank you very much for watching.